Yeah, because you got like yeah. second in street league. I did. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, that geez. was I was tripping on that. Which stop was that at? That was L.A. That was, that 20, was LA. 2019. Yeah, which was sick because like it almost felt like I was like home for it. Like because I had like so many homies from the skate parks I would skate Hell at, like yeah. that were there. Like I remember like seeing like these G Park kids who were like like yelling from the top of like the crowd and like they were just super hyped i was like damn it's like That's dope. i feel like i'm home like i love oh, that this is like sick Dude. but who who won that year utah utah oh yeah. wow you, it was utah. utah me then vincent malou was that the one where was a bump to those yellow bars yeah that was sketchy yeah i hated yeah. that course yeah. <laughs> i should have i remember in the morning i was just like so pissed because it was like eight o'clock practice i was like bro like eight o'clock in the morning what is, that's like, a little mm-hmm. extreme like I, what is going on so i'm there and i'm like practicing and i'm like dude i'm over this like this just sucks like boards shooting out and i think it was like around that time where like all the contests had weird contest schedules where it was like like this heat gets like oh, yeah. 50 minutes and it yeah. was i was just like dude this sucks was that when it was world skate involved yeah. that was like mm-hmm. the early beginnings of it because i think it was there was the rio contest that's yeah. where like i kind of met you yeah remember we like there was that that like one bar that like was like the local void. bar void. The void yeah <laughs> dude yeah yeah and like i remember everyone would go there and yeah. like we had this is like a side note but we went there and i remember luan saw me and tom there and he was like bro what the fuck are you doing here like oh do you yeah, know yeah. where you are right now <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're in the wrong bar dude. no he was like you're in the right bar like uh, perfect. <laughs> like <laughs> like yeah this is like our local bar and then like Sick. literally everyone went there and then that's where you and i kicked it before like yeah everything. that bar was isn't that uh when costin didn't he do the do the kickflip thing there yeah and they like, he was, like did a kick, yeah he like did a kickflip and like all the people at the bar picked costin up yeah and, like, were, like <laughs> cheering with him like it was just the craziest it was, awesome. like, sick. It was, was dope sick. they loved yeah. skating down there like that, that was sick. it was yeah, like when you go to a contest there it's different yeah it, it's not like going anywhere here no no, no, no it no. is so much energy it yeah. is amazing it was dope it was yeah, yeah. Super love, cool. the passion behind skateboarding there is next level it's insane yeah. it's so insane. that that street league was 2019 yeah so yeah, I was like bummed on the course. Like not like bummed on the course, but I was just like over it. I was like, mm. dude, it's so early. These like this bump to rail is massive. I don't feel like skating this before I've had lunch. Like this is like kind of <laughs> crazy. Yeah. You know? I was just over it. And then like once it got to like my heat, I just like I was like, I'm done. Like I'm not strategizing. I'm just gonna skate. Mm. Like I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna like flip my board. Whatever. Like that's all I'm doing. And then I started doing that. And then I was in like first out of my heat. And then I don't remember what I ended at, like maybe fourth in qualifiers. And then I kind of like had a similar approach where I was just like, dude, I don't really like, I just want to skate. Like, is that I'm, weird? Yeah. You Sometimes don't, when you just let go, yeah, it just totally happens. Yeah, yeah. And that's how it worked. And then I was like, you know, I was like sick. I this is an opportunity to make a little money. Like it's a good day. Like once you get into the finals, you're like sick, no matter what I'm walking away with something, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which yeah. is very nice to walk away from a hard day's work with something in your pocket. Definitely. For sure. So once I like did that, then there was one of the like USADA or whatever dudes, the like the drug test people. Oh, okay. this is before I even knew what that was because I wasn't, I was not familiar with the Olympic contest, like how everything was going with that. Mm-hmm. But immediately after, they were like, "All right, you got to come with us." And they were like, we "Like at the contest?" Yeah, yeah, like they gave me the trophy, and then like at the time, Mark Waters, R.I.P. Yes, like, threw the like American flag on me, and I was like, "What?" The, like, oh what? yeah, I, remember I was that. like, "Bro, you, you went up to the podium with the flag on, but like nobody else was." Like, I was Utah like, didn't have a like. It was no, kind I was of like, like, "What am I supposed?" To? I was like, "All right, well, I'm not gonna like throw it. Like, I, I guess that's what I'm doing." Right. You know what I mean? I was so Random. confused. Yeah, yeah. It was because you were at this point, you weren't even like. What, the Olympics wasn't even on your radar. It wasn't no, even like something you no. were just at the street league. Yeah, I was like, I'm. I want to do well in street league. Like, yeah. this is a, I've always looked up to the people in this contest. Like, I'm here with a lot of people. Like, you know, I admire, and I just want to do well. I don't want to like. You don't want to like beat them, but you're like, I want to do well. I want to like put yeah. my name out there. Yeah, hundred percent. And that happened, and then they were like, Hey, you got to come with us. And I was like, Can I like go see my parents real quick? Like, can I like? I think my mom and dad would like really like to share this moment with me. And they were like, Quickly. And like come with us. Okay. So, so then I gave him hell. Like I was in there for like an hour and a half, just like bullshitting, because I was like, dude, you're wasting my time and waste yours. Like, yeah. Come on, this is like crazy. Yeah. And then the full on like, okay, like you know, sign, fill out this paperwork, whatever. And then like they were like, all right, we gotta like see you, like, pee in this. Co-. I was like, bro, oh, yeah, like, they have to yeah. watch you, or something, right? Don't they have to watch yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, like really watch. You? Yeah. yeah, I was like, bro, this Wait. dude who's looking at me better have my check because like I, this is a lot. Like I yeah, ain't never they, going they have to this. watch you like literally pee yeah. in the cup. Yeah, yeah. And they were yeah. like, do you want a representative in here with you to make sure everything is fair? I was like, bro, what are you gonna do to me? Like, 
I, what? And this wasn't even brought to your attention at any point in time. Uh, no, because it was like, you kind of just like, like for me anyway, like I was like, this is a way in a street league. I was focused on like getting into a street league because I was like, I'm am right now to skate. This is a massive mm -hmm. opportunity. I want to do that. But then like all that came with it at the time, I was like, whoa, this is like crazy. So like what transpired after that? You you pee in the cup, you do the thing. And what what happens with the drug test? They're like, we'll let you know. But I never got that email. I don't know if I was like, just like I, they misread my email or whatever. And like, I never got the results, but I guess I'm just good. I mean, okay. I'd, like, I would assume weed, but like, yeah, I feel like if I've never gotten a drug test like that, yeah. but like, they probably just don't hit you up if, if you're all good. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And see, like, it's weird. Cause there were other times where they did, like, they had come to my house, like during COVID, they had come to my house, like early, like dude, like seven 30 in the morning. And they were like, uh, surprise. Yeah. They're just like. Hey, it's Usada outside, like blah blah blah. Like you know, it's you know what it <laughs> it's is. It's time. <laughs> yeah, and like I was just like, what? And then like I like went with them. I stayed in like this little lounge area at my apartment complex, and like just kicked because I was like, I don't want you in my house. But like <laughs> I was like drinking water a bunch, and then I didn't have any more water, and I was like, can I go get more? And they were like, yeah, but he's got to go with you. And then like the dude had to come with me in my apartment. And like my girls, like still kind of yeah, so sleeping. So you couldn't and like stuff. get anything to modify it or do whatever you're in. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I was, yeah. but I mean, I like I get it, but it was definitely like eye opening. I was like, yeah. whoa, like what is happening? Like yeah. this is, you know, it's a crazy opportunity, but it's nuts. So, well, I mean, at the end of the day, were you like psyched to, to go to, to try for the Olympics? Or yeah. I mean, I like yes and no. Like yes, because it was a really crazy opportunity to have, and to be mm. thrown into that world is like awesome, but to like not have wanted to do that. Like that wasn't my goal and like being there. It took a little bit of me adjusting and like, to be honest, like it like played on my mental a little bit. Cause yeah. that's like, you dedicate all your time to that. Which a like, lot of skaters were. Yeah. yeah. And like, dude, to go to these contests and like sometimes like, you know, like the judging criteria was a little bit different than typical contests. So like you would leave these contests. I mean, at least myself, like I'd leave being like, damn, like I'm like, am I not good at this or whatever? Like, you know, it's just like, it had you thinking, <laughs> yeah. you're like, bro, like, Maybe I'm like not that good at this contest or like just not good at skating. And like that, like I had to take a step back and really be like, look, man, like this is a lot more than I had asked for. And it's like playing on my mental and like I got to focus on that because like, dude, this isn't even what you wanted. Yeah. And, you know, like a lot of things had like transpired during that time. Like I had, I think during that time, like I was already in like second world, like uh, not world ranking, but uh, like USA ranking. Mm -hmm. So then I had turned pro like going into that year. I th yeah, like I wasn't pro at Street League. 2020 I turned pro in February. Mm -hmm. Then like, I think like two months later, I found out my mom had cancer. And then, which was tough. Cause like, dude, like my family was super, like we're all four of us, like me, my brother, my dad, and my mom are like super close. Mm -hmm. So I had gone back home for like a bit of time like stayed with my mom until like she eventually passed mm. and then like kind of just dealing with all of these emotions like grief and stuff and like dealing with like the reality of not really wanting to be in the olympics because mm -hmm. it kind of played on this different part in my mind that was like like when i was in high school i went to a high school that like was really big on college and anytime i was like you know i want to like I, I have a goal of being a professional skateboarder as crazy as that sounds it's like what i want to do with my life and people really push uh, college on you. And I realized that like being in that space of people being like, oh, you're going to the Olympics, like not knowing like what really was happening and how I could possibly not go. Right. That kind of put that same type of pressure on me when I was explaining like, oh, I want to be a professional skater. And they're like, eh, maybe you should think of something else. It was like that same type mm -hmm. of voice that was parallels, like, parallels, really. Yeah. And it took me a long time to realize that. And like, it, I learned a lot after my mom passed of just like, what's important what's not and really what's important is just like what you're comfortable with and what you really want to do with whatever you have in front of you and yeah like going through that time of being like too why like why am i like feeling weird about skating why am i feeling like you know what i mean like the, yeah. the interest is changing and it took me a while to realize like dude you didn't want to be a part of these contests like oh, this is pretty yeah. gnarly like for people who don't know yeah. like those contests were gnarly and the people in it were intense and like it's an intense environment and yeah, I just think I didn't align with that. Like, hmm. I was just, I don't know. If I go to a contest, like, if you see me at a contest, I'm going to talk to everybody there. And, like, I'm going to be... taking away your passion, bro. Totally, yeah, yeah. Like, I was just kind of like, damn, like, I, like, I would have conversations with people and then, like, they're, like, uh, I don't know what you call them, but they're countries like liaison oh, would yeah. kind of be like all right that's like enough and you're i was like what like what do you think i'm gonna steal his tricks by talking to him like wow. yeah. what is going on you know yeah, like, people got pretty serious different mentality man. it was a little different yeah. vibe of yeah people taking things way 
a little too serious. For sure. I'm sure you saw it too. Like yeah. totally. Yeah. Cause like, yeah, when you were judging, people were probably like a little different. Towards they it were like, Hey, you can't talk to the, you know, you can't talk to the skaters and blah, yeah. blah. And I'm like, you guys understand? Like, I know pretty much every, all of these people. Okay, fine. I won't talk to any of them, but like, for sure. It's like yeah. you're changing what skateboarding is all about. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Which is like, look, I'm not going to like hate on it. Like there is a time and a place for all different types of skating. Mm. Clearly, like there, skating is not what it, it always was. Like it's evolving into different things and it still has the same core elements yeah. for whatever you want. Like it really is. The core element is what do you want out of it? Exactly. You know? yeah. Is it for fun? Is it to like meet some friends? Is it to just like, is it some personal thing? Is it to gain something? Whatever. It really is whatever you want out of it. So there's a place for all of this stuff. But I think like for me, that maybe wasn't my place because mm. I just like, I don't know. It was just a really serious. Like it was like really intense. And mm. like, yeah, I don't know. I think like after like my mom had passed and then even after that, like I had my first injury where I like had surgery and like oh, wow. went through all that and like lost the ability. Cause like we obviously cope with skateboarding, yeah. lost my main ability to cope with shit. Like, mm -hmm. dude, it, it changes your mind. And like, I just really sat and reflected for a while. Like, bro, this is like not even, uh, like I'm not really into this, yeah. you know? Like it really feels like I'm beating other people. And like, it's like, don't get me wrong. Like that's a tremendous opportunity. Sure. To be an Olympian is like, I mean, very few can say that, but yeah. I don't, you know, I think my main goal was getting my name on a board far before yeah, yeah, any of yeah, that. Yeah, and right. I, yeah. and that yeah. hadn't even happened yet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it did after that I got into like the whole mix of stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause I was 2019 that I, I got second in street league and then was in the whole situation. 2020 you turned pro February. February. So right at the beginning of the year, pretty much. Right. Got you. And okay, then, okay. yeah. And then every, no one knew, like, I'm sure like you were getting emails about it too, where you're like, well, I guess I'm going to be in this country maybe that month. Like there was like this gnarly schedule of like yeah. China, Japan, China, mm -hmm. Australia. Like, so oh, that was, gnarly. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, I don't really know what's about to go on. And you're like, well, I'll try to plan for You know what I mean? So yeah. like, it was just this weird time of like, this, huh. is, this is kind of a lot, you know. Where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe over to yeah. It's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Right oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.